people are accustomed to think of black points as being absolute scotoma, while these points are relative scotoma. Actually, this is not true. To understand this, let's go to the subject of probability. What is probability? Probability, it is a measure of a chance of getting some outcome of interest for some event. For example, suppose we have a bag of candies, nine are red, nine are green. What is the probability to get one red? So, in our favor, nine is in our favor. From the total out possible outcomes, 19. So, the probability to get this one is 9 divided by 18. Again here, another example, 3 red, 9 green. What is the possibility of getting 3? The probability is 3 in our favor divided by the total of 12. Another example, 1 red, 9 green. Then the probability is 1 out of total 10. So the probability equals the number of outcomes of favor of the event divided by the total number of possible outcomes. Suppose we have different colors of candies and say the green one total we get four. What is the probability of getting a green one? To know it we say it is four out of all this number and this is the probability. Suppose we measure the intraocular pressure for a group of persons and we record the IOP and the number or the frequency of persons get this IOP. And we have this curve. And then I'll tell you what is the probability of having persons with IOP below 13 millimeter mercury. Then I'm going to calculate the persons in this area divided by the total persons in the whole graph. So this is the probability. Suppose we have a group of people and I asked what is the probability of meeting a person shorter than 130 centimeters. Then we need to collect this data and have this curve, the frequency distribution curve. We get here the different heights and on this y-axis we have the frequency of occurrence of that value. And the question is people shorter than 130 so we need to calculate persons in this area and divide them by the total if we get question what are the chance of meeting people taller than 180 then we calculate the people in this zone and divide them by the total number the frequency distribution curve can be like this, a normal distribution, a bell shape, or can be squeezed to the left or squeezed to the right, or even it can be like this, a bimodal distribution. The normal distribution is the most common probability distribution we see in statistics. The nice about this graph is that if this is the mean and we go one standard deviation up or one standard deviation below the mean, 34% of the people are located here. Between one standard deviation and two standard deviation, 13.5%. Between two and three standard deviation, 2.35%. The same on the other side. So, if we get this group from the mean, two standard deviation below the mean and two standard deviation above the mean, we are including 95% of the data. This is the most important figure we deal with in statistics. If we go to the three standard deviation up or down, you're going to include 99% of the data. So suppose we get population and we start to calculate their income, monthly income, and we found that the mean for this group is 1,000 Egyptian pound and the standard deviation is 400. So we have this curve. 
if I ask you, we have a person with income 600, how poor is he? So we need to know this zone compared to the rest. So the mean is 1000, 600 is one standard deviation below the mean. So to calculate this area, let's go to this part. This group is represent 16% of the whole population. So now we know that this person is poor, he has less income, he is in the lower 16% of this community. What about a person with income 200? So 200 is two standard deviation. So here two standard deviation. So he is in the lower two and a half percent of the community. Let's have this example. 50 randomly selected volunteers took an IQ test. Helen, one of the volunteers, scored 74. This is the value she got from maximum possible 120 points. The average score for the group, this is the mean, this is 62. And the standard deviation is 11. Question is, how well did she do in the test compared to the others? So this is the mean, one standard deviation above the mean, 26 plus 11 will be 73. She got a number 74. So she's slightly better by one standard deviation and a little bit more. If we use this formula, we say that she is located here, 1.9 on this scale. Now we can use special tables. This one and this 0.9, the one is here. We go on this side, this is the one, and this is the points. This is 0.9. And this is one, so we get this value. This value is eight, 86%. So we know this area exactly represents 86%. And we can tell she is good. She is ranked at the 86%. So using these tables, actually any location, we can tell how much we find to the uh, left side of this point. This is what happens with the field. Each location of the tested field is known what it's mean and what is its standard deviation. So if we have a patient for that location, the value was 18. So the mean is 24, 18 is two standard deviation below the group. So we can tell actually this point is low in the lower two and a half percent of the group. So whatever the value we have here, we can actually say it occurs in five percent of the group or two percent or one percent or half percent. So this is what is shown here. These points should giving us that the these points are abnormally low and with the probability of being normal by 5% or 2% or 1%. This is what we see in the field and the same what we see in the OCT if the points is occurring in very small part of the population then we get a mark of 1% or 5%. So back to the first question these marks does not mean they are Marked, they are absolute scotoma? No. Notice here, these marks get the value here between minus 6 to minus 30. This sign, minus 8, it is in the same range, but it gets another, another sign. Here, minus 6, minus 7, they are in the range, but one of them get another sign. So this does not mean absolute scotoma. This does not mean relative scotoma. It only means that this point is abnormal with the probability of occurrence in the normal people and 1% or 2% or 5% of the normal population. Again, if you notice here, 
this number the mean deviation and pattern standard deviation it is written here the probability this is abnormal and most probably it is abnormal but it can occur in 0.5 percent of the people normal people this standard deviation is abnormal it is high but this one can occur in two percent of the normal population again in the octopus sometimes we collect the data of group of points then compare it if it occurs in one percent of the people you have this red mark if it occurs in five percent you get this yellow mark thank you